studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. It's basketball season or nearly basketball season as Big 12 Media Day commenced earlier this week in Kansas City and John Helsley was there and he joins us on the phone now. And John, uh, a lot of talk obviously about Michael Cobbins and his return. He was a huge uh, missing piece last year after that injury. Now he's back. What are we hearing about his return to action? Hearing good things. Um, you know, he's healthy. He feels good. Um, some of the things he's been able to do in practice, including a, a dunk uh, over seven foot, Anthony Allen has really caught uh, everybody's attention from the players to the coaches. They really feel like he's kind of back to being the Michael Cobbins that they remember from a year ago. Well, I, I think on last year's team, everybody knew Cobbins was just going to be a piece, but on this year's team, what role is he going to play? What do we expect to see out of him and for the Cowboys to need out of him? Yeah, he's, he's kind of got to be who he is, which is um, defender, rim protector, rebounder. You know, he's going to score some, but he won't be a focal point of the offense. But some of the, the, the unnoticed things, you know, leadership, the guy who calms everybody down in a huddle, um, the guy who sort of directs the defense from, from behind. That's who he is, and that's the kind of the uh, untold thing that he's able to add to a team. So he's got to be that. He's got to play a lot of minutes, and he's got to stay healthy. I mean, and, and that's been a little bit of an issue for Michael. Uh, he's got to stay healthy, and he's a senior, and it's his last go round. As expected, the Cowboys not ranking extremely high in any of the preseason polls or any of the preseason rankings, but. Um, what what's their feeling and what's your feeling about what could be a realistic ceiling for this team? Could they be in the top three in the conference? Let's say what what it, what what sort of uh, heights could this team potentially reach? It's an interesting team in that obviously they lose Marcus Smart and Markel Brown and some other pieces, uh, and yet they still have guys that have been around and been contributors to the program. Phil Forte, Ryan Nash, we talked about Cobb and. Um, you've got Anthony Hickey, who started three seasons at LSU and the SEC. So they've got some proven pieces. They need some young guys to step up. They need some guys that uh, that haven't done much in the program so far to step up. And if that happens, and if Nash can have a great year, I could see him finishing four or five in the conference. I would it would probably be the ceiling. Well, lastly, John, obviously a lot of talk about this upcoming season, but it is recruiting season as well as uh, that signing day fast approaches here next month. The Cowboys obviously a huge get a week or so ago. They were a finalist uh, this week as well and another big time player committed to Illinois or committed to, uh, I'm sorry, to Texas A&M instead. Talk about his decision and who's left out there. Who could the Cowboys still potentially get uh, before that signing day? Yeah, the Cowboys have really been in deep on some big-time players. Got one, as you mentioned, in Juwan Evans, a point guard. Um, they were in really deep. They, in fact, I would have thought that uh, they felt really good about getting Admon Gilder, who today, as you mentioned, committed to uh, Texas A&M. Some names to consider, Elijah Thomas, a big man out of Texas, although now you start to wonder about A&M as he's really good friends with Gilder. And then uh, another one I think that's very intriguing is Diamond Stone. He's one of the top uncommitted players in the country, a center out of Wisconsin. They're going to have to pull him away from Bo Ryan and, uh, and the Badgers. But they feel like they're in a good spot with him. And, and he visited there a week ago and, and had a great time. So something to monitor there. Definitely so. All right. Thanks, John. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.